1.4 million. That's how many Ohioans are facing hunger. That's one out of every eight people in our state, one in seven children. All the prices are going up, um, and you can't find things that you used to buy. And the need continues to grow. It would cost an estimated $835 million to fill the gaps to help Ohio families get the food they need. If you can get some help to help you know, feed you and your family, it's, it's great to do that. The Akron-Canton Regional Food Bank says the need in the eight counties it serves is higher now than during the pandemic. In fact, this year alone, the food bank has seen a 30% increase in people seeking assistance. Tonight, we're following through with our ongoing look at hunger in Ohio. Bob Jones spoke with people waiting in long lines for food. He found the food bank itself also needs help. About 30 minutes before the food distribution even started, the cars lined up, about 100 of them in three separate lines, illustrating the point that the need for food in the community remains great. They showed up early, patiently waiting for something they need, food for their families. For many in line, this has become a necessary ritual the first Thursday of every month. They were long during the pandemic, and it's still long to me. They're not getting any shorter? No. Janet Livingston, a retired grandmother, says the food assistance makes a big difference. This helps me a lot. It helps me quite a bit because uh, I don't get no assistance, so this helps me. Donovan Schultz came to the distribution sites during the pandemic, but feels his personal need is even greater now. This is a big help because um, everything's going up nowadays. Uh, the utilities are going up. And when you see the long lines like we're seeing today, what's running through your mind? I hope that people know that their food bank is here. Um, I just imagine how many people live so close to the line. Raven Gayhart with the Akron Canson Regional Food Bank says the number of families seeking emergency food assistance is up 23% since before the pandemic in 2019. And this year alone, there has been a 30% jump in people getting help from the food pantry network. With inflation, supply chain disruptions, right now our inventory is barely keeping pace with the demand. Gayhart says the high cost of groceries and the reduction in SNAP benefits to pre-pandemic levels are just two reasons driving the need. The increased cost for food, for other basic necessities, for utilities, rent, transportation, child care, all of this is a strain on people's budget. And it turns out the food bank itself also needs some help looking for volunteer drivers for its Stark County Community Harvest Food Rescue Program, which delivers unused food from restaurants. Volunteers have to be ready to lift anywhere between 10 and 40 pounds repeatedly, putting you know food donations into the truck and then unloading it to different hot meals and pantries. But their priority remains helping people like those in line yes. today. To know that no one should feel ashamed if they need help, um, that's what we're here for, and that's why we've always been here. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. Now, of course, the rising cost of food is not the only thing weighing on our budgets. Mortgage rates have climbed again to 7.49% for a 30-year loan. That's the highest in more than two decades. Experts say rising long-term interest rates, along with high gas prices, the return of student loan payments, the UAW strike, and the risk of a government shutdown. All threats to the economy and the efforts to lower inflation without going into a recession. 